Hi guys, you're here again. So you might wonder what this is um, to open. And these are sleeved blisters from Lost Origin. I bought a couple of these boxes with 16 in them each. So we're gonna open one of these boxes. There are 16 in total here. Uh, so yeah, let's just start it. We have the Infernape. Uh, line here but we also have uh, ones with the Torterra line so let's just open these and let's see if we can get something decent out of it I would have preferred the check lane blisters with just one promo card in it um, but by the time I decided to buy them they already sold out so uh, and these were at a good price as well, so I thought might as well pick those ones instead. So, yeah. So we got the Charizard coin right here. We got the Infernape Hollow. And then we got Monferno and um, Chimchar. And I think this, yeah, it's just part of the set. This card is bent. Oh my god. Look. Look at that. That's pretty bad, actually. Oh, there's even a permanent dent in it. You can see the crease actually. If you focus. Yeah, you can. Man, that's bad. That is bad. But okay, it is what it is. This is the code card. Man. Okay, so. Um, I'm gonna put the promo cards to the side and the coins. I mean promo cards, I think the Infernib is, yeah, it is also part of the set, but probably not as a hollow. So let's open all these ones uh, and let's make a time lapse out of it because otherwise it will take too long. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh my god guys that took so much longer than I would have hoped for <laughs> oh wow but okay so we got all the code cards here I'm first gonna show you all the code cards uh, so that we can start on the packs right away you can pause the video if you want to see all the codes clearly there are 16 packs in total and some of the cards were a bit bent, uh, some of them not. Oh, I forgot one. There's the last code card, there we go. Alright, so we can finally start opening this. For you guys it will not have been that long, but man, that took a couple of minutes out of me. So, let's see here. Um, uh, why not order this, order this a little bit as well just to make it a bit more fun. Uh, there we go. Let's put the Zoroarks together, the Giratinas together, God of War, and Enamorous. All right, so there we go. 16 packs of Lost Origin. It has been a while since I've opened this much of Lost Origin. I think it was I think maybe maybe from when I opened the uh, the PC ETB versus the regular ETB, it must be from that time. Probably since I've opened this much of Lost Origin. So, Panic Mask, Lampen, Rhydon, Sida, Horsey, Meditai, Shellos, Mianfu, Torco Reverse, and the Ariados Regular Hollow. But 
Yeah, the last couple of openings that I've done on the older sets, that was just abysmal. Like I, luckily in the opening where I opened that many um, Evolving Skies products, luckily in that opening we got some brilliant stars that saved some of it. That card was really good, like that uh, Sylveon VMAX from the Trainer Gallery, that was a really good card but it didn't save the rest of the opening though. Reverse Hollow Vile Plume and a Hollow Ore Beetle. But like, guys, if you have seen my live stream on Crown Zenith, I mean, that set is so fun to open. It is, n there is no comparison. There is no comparison to any, uh, to any of the sets of Sword and Shield no comparison so let's see if we get something decent out of these packs we got a reverse holo arcanine and a regular rare comfey like this sometimes also shows you how bad your luck can get or if you're lucky sometimes your luck can really run out and then you get nothing suddenly nothing so reverse hollow glass gore and a regular comfey again so we got nothing yet four packs in i mean usually lost origin gets some hits like with the trainer gallery and such but so far nothing four packs in of course it is not a booster box so i think there's no guarantees with uh even if it's from a case or a box from blisters i don't think there's any guarantee of getting something so reverse all the pyro revert a regular rare Rhyperior. five packs in nothing still come on I mean, don't tell me we're nothing. We're getting nothing out of 16 packs of Lost Origin. Oh, there's something in the bag, but it's a regular V, I think. Um, let's find out. So we have Reverse Hollow Slugma and a uh, Pidgeot V. So a mild pull here, mild pull. Um, hope we get something more than a regular V. Some trainer galleries would be nice. I mean, already have the second best card from the trainer gallery and the and the Pikachu with red. Um, don't have a Chunkachu with red like the Pikachu V Max. I have the Pikachu V from the trainer gallery, um, so I cannot really complain. But oh, there we go. Hey, Pikachu trainer gallery. That's not bad. And a Polyrath. Okay, so we got. A full pull okay now we're getting somewhere now we're getting somewhere a lot of Pikachu's in this set more than I actually realized I knew about the uh, Pikachu V and V Max but you have uh, this Pikachu as well I didn't even know this was in the set to be honest But it is definitely one that I didn't have before. I mean, otherwise I would have realized that. I would have known the card. We got, oh, oh, okay, okay. Nessa Full Art, we're, now we're talking, now we're talking. And a Hollow Chandelure. I didn't even, oh, it is from the Trainer Gallery. I was, I was thinking like, man, since when are the Full Arts in the, second to last spot but it is the trainer gallery all right all right we're making progress we're making progress all right the 
The pull rate already is better <laughs> than the last couple of openings. Okay, so what do we get from this? Reverse hollow carbink and a regular bear bayonet. Man, the trainer gallery sets are so much more fun to open. Just because you have a chance to get something in the reverse hollow spot. Wait, is there something? Oh, there is something. There is something. Reverse hollow polywag. Giratina V-Star. Okay, not bad. I already have this card, but it's not bad. It is not bad. I'll take it. There are a couple of better Giratinas definitely in the in the in the set, but hey. I'm not about to complain with these pulls. Come on. I'm actually wondering, like besides the Giratina and the Aerodactyl, what other alternate arts are there i think the rotom v but besides that i'm not really sure to be honest oh the berserker the berserker that's right reverse hollow ink and a regular rare glass door but i think that's basically it right those four are the alternate arts I don't have a alternate art from Lost Origin yet. So it would be amazing to get one. So, let's see here. Come on. Reverse Hollow Glasgore and a Hollow Snorlax. We got four packs to go, all from the Giratina. I mean, 16 packs, four pulls so far. It's not bad. It's not bad. Somewhere around average, I would say, probably, or a bit less. Oh, there's something in this one. It's all black border. Let's see what is going to be. It is reverse hollow Cresselia and a Delph Fox V. So it is a regular rare, uh, regular rare, <laughs> regular V. Okay. So, five pulls so far. But it is noticeable that the um, that the special illustration rares from Scarlet and Violet are definitely easier to pull than the alt arts from Sword and Shield. Because, like, I have, I have a special illustration rare from the Scarlet and Violet sets from all the sets except for this, uh, the last set, uh, Twilight Masquerade. That's the only set that I don't have a special illustration rare for. Uh, Reverse Hollow Gastrier and a regular rare uh, Clefable. Two more packs to go. So yeah, the only sets that I have um, alternate arts from in the Sword and Shield sets are from Chilling Rain. Uh, Pokemon Go and um, Silver Tempest, but not the not the top cards, not the top cards. Okay, okay, Gengar illustration rare. There we go. It's the first time that I have that one, and a Cramorant regular rare. Okay, like the, this, this is what I'm talking about. These pools are decent. These pools are decent. And like the thing is, because the pull rates in the older Sword and Shield sets are so hard, like there are a lot of pulls that you can get, but there's not a lot of chances you can get them. Um, and like you can you can argue that for example Lost Origin has less 
top cards, less chase cards than, than Evolving Skies or Chilling Rain or Fusion Strike, for example. But you, get, you just get more hits because of the trainer gallery as well. Reverse Hollow Love Disc and a regular rare Spirit Tomb. So those were 16 packs of Lost Origin. I'm, I mean, I cannot complain. I definitely cannot complain. Because, uh, like, let's see here. 16 packs and we got three, four, five, six pulls. That's decent. That's decent. I can live with that. Uh, two regular Vs. Uh, Giratina V Star, two regular illustration rares, and then the Nessa. Um, it's not an illustration rare. What am I saying? I'm, I'm confusing with <laughs> the Scarlet and Violet sets. Not illustration rares. Trainer Gallery uh, cards here, and one full art from the Trainer Gallery from Nessa. So yeah, I'm kind of no. I, yeah, that's. Oh yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm glad with that. If all pulls would be like this, I'd be happy. I'd be happy. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this opening. Uh, I think the next opening might be a case of... Um, or a box of 24 sleeve booster packs of Paldea Evolved. Let's, let's upgrade. Let's, uh, let's keep the pulls going. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other openings. Uh, I really appreciate your support, guys. Thank you so much, and see you guys next time. Bye.